Speaker. I rise today to share with the House the incredible community that is being created and strengthened at the Marion Mosque with their recent community centre extension. I had the pleasure of attending and celebrating the opening of the Al Salam Community Centre, a community centre for peace, on Sunday, the 18th of November, with several of my parliamentary colleagues, including the federal member for Boothby, Nicole Flint, member for Morfitt, and the honourable Jing Lee. Unfortunately, the Premier was unable to make it due to personal reasons, but I know he would have been there if possible, as he was most looking forward to it. The Community Centre for Peace is a project that has been initiated by the Islamic Society of South Australia, which is a not-for-profit organisation established in 1995 to provide social, educational and spiritual services to the Muslim and wider community. The Islamic Society of South Australia holds a range of special events and opportunities for gatherings to encourage interculturalism. It identified the need for a new community centre to be able to expand its facilities at its mosque in Park Holm. Through its mosques, the society works with individuals and families who are facing a range of issues relating to, for example, family and marital disputes, grief and loss, financial hardship or social isolation. The new Community Centre for Peace is a multifunctional facility equipped with two function rooms, a commercial kitchen, which is very impressive, meeting rooms and offices and a new car park. The centre will provide a, the, the centre will provide a venue for a range of programs and initiatives that encourage and facilitate social connectedness. I've been told the key objective is to provide a vibrant and accessible gathering place and a social hub where people from all work, walks of life may enjoy and participate in community events. The Community Centre for Peace has had tremendous input and support from the entire community with the Muslim community donating $1 million towards the build of this $1.4 million community centre. And so I'd like to acknowledge such generosity, hard work and commitment by all that have been involved in making this dream a reality. In particular, I'd like to acknowledge the Amman, the president of the, of the, is that, sorry, the president of the Islamic Society of South Australia, Mr. Ahmed, Zarika, who is also a member of the South Australian Multicultural and Ethnic Affairs Commission, and the previous president, who was Dr Walid al -Zareka. Their vision and commitment is inspiring. The Open Day itself was more than just celebrating this incredible achievement and opening the centre. It was also about opening the doors to the public, promoting social cohesion within communities and clarifying misconceptions. The day included tours, question and answer panels, henna and some delicious food. Peace and tolerance matter to all South Australians and so I wholeheartedly thank our local Muslim community in Southern Adelaide for all their efforts on this front and congratulate them today in particular for their new Community Centre for Peace.